it can be really hard to achieve fluency in English, right? Well, today I'm going to show you all five tips on how to improve your English skills. Hi, I'm Teacher Rod. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Look, English has, like any other language, has four skills or abilities. Reading, speaking, listening, and writing. But I'm going to throw another one in this, into this mix. Grammar. You know, I know, I know this grammar could be a little boring, but, you know, for you to be uh, able to speak fluently the language, you have to master these skills. And today, I'm going to tell you, tell you a little bit about how you can do it for free, how you can improve your English, okay? Look, you can use a wide range of tools to practice uh, those abilities. And here are basically five tips on how you can do that. Okay, number one, let's talk about listening. You know, how can you develop your listening skills? Sure, you can go to an English-speaking country, the United States, South Africa, Australia, England, and then listen and talk and listen to people, and that would improve. Uh, your, your definitely would improve your skills, right? I agree with that, sure. But hey, uh, if you have, we, we, there's so many uh, different tools online on the internet that you can get stuff for free. Let's talk about podcasts first. You know, there's a lot of podcasts you can try to find and download to your phone or to your computer, and you can listen them for free. Uh, you know, don't go around and try to find a podcast about cars if you don't like cars. Try to find stuff that you like. Say that you work for the, the cosmetics industry. Try to find a podcast that talks about that. Why not? Say you want to, you're studying uh, engineering. Try to find a podcast that talks about engineering, the, the market uh, around you. You know, the idea here is to try to find something that you really, that you're comfortable with. And there you go. You can find something that you like and it's easy for you to uh, understand the language and the, 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 the subjects that people will be talking about, okay? Now, now there's always audiobooks. Look, there's a very good um, uh, app you can find online. It's free. It's called LibriVox. It's an app uh, you can download to your phone. And basically what you have to do is uh, you choose your, the author you really like or the book you want to listen to. These are all in the public domain. You can download it to your phone and listen it for free. And that way you can, um, you know, practice your vocabulary, practice your listening, of course, and the pronunciation of people if you pay uh, close attention to, okay? Podcasts, audiobooks. Tip number two, reading. Okay, this is the easiest one, I think. Look, why are you going to read something, uh, the, the news about the world, in your own language when you can read them in English. Look, there's CNN, The Guardian, BBC, whatever the site you, you choose to follow the news, try to find the, the news that you're, you're curious about and read them in English. Uh, why not? It's, it's the best, one of the best ways for you to practice uh, because then you will have to understand and interpret what's happening. And then, okay, you can confirm the news that you've just read in your own language, okay, but try to read it in English first, okay? Tip number three, speaking. Okay, this could be a little hard. Okay, but why not? You know, there's a lot of people around you, I'm sure, that you can found a, uh, a speaking club. Try to, you know, you can even uh, get a name for yourselves. Get a group of people. Go have some coffee or go play soccer or whatever you do when, you, when you're hanging out with your friends and do it in English. You know, Saturday night, you're going out. Why not just doing this in English? This could be a good idea just to practice. And again, it's free. Tip number four, writing. Look, there's so social media everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. You can try to find people here. You can write a message in the comments below. And you can try to find somebody whom you can talk to. Uh, you can create a pay. Uh, 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 a, a, a pen pal, as we say in English, uh, and try to find somebody who you can connect with, write messages, ask, be curious about other cultures, uh, ask questions to him or her, and then this way you're practicing your writing skills. Okay, and finally, grammar. Look, I know it's boring. 
Yes, grammar, right? But it's so necessary. When you're trying to speak, to communicate in English uh, or any other language, of course, you want to know the vocabulary. You want to know how to pronounce things. Uh, you want to understand what people are saying, their pronunciation. But the grammar is really important because if you say something like this, she don't like me no more. It's like, okay, people say that in the streets. You could argue that. Okay, yeah, I've heard this in the streets. Yes. But the correct grammar, especially if you're working with English, that will take you to uh, the next step. You see? So uh, try to find a book or an app that you can use to improve your English and try to do one lesson a week. Say, there's a, there's a very good app I would suggest. It's called uh, English Grammar in Use by Cambridge University. I think it's around, uh, I can't remember the price, but go check it out in your um, uh, app store or Google store or whatever, and try to download it to your phone. I think the first six uh, units are free. And that way you can do at least for six weeks, you can have a lesson a week. Okay. So here we go. Five tips on how to improve your English. And I'm sure if you follow these steps, your English is going to be much, much better. Okay. Grammar, pronunciation, conversation challenges, hit that subscribe button for more.